What's up, guys? This is Nevin Dravinsky, producer on UFC 2009 Undisputed here at THQ. I'm going to give you an exciting in-depth look at our stand-up game, so join me in the virtual octagon to see the most intense, authentic mixed martial arts experience anywhere. Now, the face buttons on your controller give you unparalleled command of each of your fighter's limbs. So you're in total control, creating any number of strings of punches, kicks, elbows, and knees, and you'll hit the face buttons in quick succession to fire off a ton of explosive combos. Playing UFC 2009 Undisputed, you'll be able to deliver two kinds of devastating strikes to your opponent's head, body, or legs. Now, weak strikes don't carry a ton of knockout muscle, but what they lack in brute force, they more than make up for in rapid fire speed. And while strong strikes don't have the same surprising swiftness, they pack a powerful punch. In this matchup, look at how Brock Lesnar uses a decimating series of weak and strong strikes to pummel the head and body of Frank Mir. Eventually, he causes enough damage to absolutely rock Mir. And this kind of punishing onslaught can end in a TKO or ultimately a victorious knockout for Brock. Using light and strong strikes against your opponent's legs, you'll develop the expertise to really slow down his attacks. And the great thing is you'll also minimize any damage he might inflict on you with his kicks and knees. Now in the mixed fighting world of UFC 2009 Undisputed, range plays a pivotal role. Based on the distance from your opponent, you can dominate from one of three distinct striking ranges. Striking range is the sweet spot for your most effective assaults. Rampage jabs, hooks, and sidekicks totally commanding the action from here. Just beyond striking range, Rampage taunts Jardine from probing range. Now it looks like Rampage's attacks aren't connecting at all, but with a fierce lunge he completely surprises and overwhelms Jardine. Probing range can be a part of a very killer strategy. Now if you like to get up close and personal with infighting and dirty boxing, clinch range is where you want to be. Anderson Silva may be in there too tight to get the full extension on his punches and kicks, but with knees and elbows, he inflicts serious short strike damage. When it comes to defensive play in UFC 2009 Undisputed, it's all about the trade-offs. The game's strike defense is the easiest way to guard yourself. Shielding a targeted area will definitely limit damage to that spot. But watch out, you can't protect the whole body at once. Now, there's also a riskier method of defending against strikes called counter grapples. The timing can be tricky, but if you get it right, you'll stop your opponent's attack in midair. Your counter grapple will result in either a clinch or a sweet takedown. Now, one of the most common questions we get about UFC 2009 Undisputed is, are there going to be flash knockouts? Now, obviously, we couldn't imagine creating the most extreme, complete mixed martial arts experience without including these electrifying finishes. But if you think I'm going to tell you how they happen, no way. Just like in real life, flash knockouts are best when they come out of nowhere. What's up, guys? This is Nevin Dravinsky, producer on UFC 2009 Undisputed here at THQ. Now, on your feet, both players share a pretty much even playing field. Working the ring, both of them can punch, kick, and move independently. But when you bring the game down to the mat, that's when things start getting really interesting. So let's take a look at UFC 2009 Undisputed's ground game. Once you learn to leverage your positions, you'll discover a level of depth in the gameplay like you've never seen before. Take the guard position, sometimes called the gateway to the ground game. Rashad Evans here on his back with Leota Machida trapped between his legs. Either one of these guys could execute a fight ending submission, but Leoto has the edge in striking. He can bring down a savage series of knockout blows, while all Rashad can do is deliver some pestering strikes. Once you're on the mat, how do you transition from one position to the next? The answer is the ultimate fighting control, an innovative and original control system. Operating the right stake, you'll take total command of the most complete and realistic ground grappling game ever. Transitions move your fighter from position to position. Watch how Mac Danzig uses minor transitions to move from the guard position to the half guard position against Nate Diaz. Max's use of minor transitions is very effective here, as they're very difficult for Diaz to block. However, Mac's not completely safe though. Minor transitions are still vulnerable to reversal. 
Dan Henderson can quickly move from the guard position all the way to the much more dominant side control through the use of major transitions. That is, of course, unless Michael Bisping tries to prevent this with a block. But if Dan Henderson can avoid that block, his major transition will be a bitch for Bisping to reverse. No matter what transitions you use to get there, the ultimate supreme position in the ground game is the mount. If you dominate from the mount position, you'll rain down a hailstorm of devastating blows that'll decimate your opponent. Some of the most spectacular finishes in UFC 2009 Undisputed get played out in the ground game. Go for an armbar, a triangle choke, or some good old fashioned ground and pound, and it's all under your ultimate control. And don't worry, Fighters in the disadvantaged position have access to the major and minor transitions as well, so don't think this is a one-man show. 